Welcome back to the Cutthroat Journey. Feel the passion. Let's get going. Hi guys and welcome back. So I have a shady video here for you. So let me uh, get my face wet and get going here. Uh, today's Wednesday. I worked the old graveyard shift again tonight. So like I mentioned before, I'm a healthcare worker. I work uh, 7P, 7P to 7A. And I've been doing that for about five years. Um, so my usual routine is I wake up around, um, if I take a nap, around like 1.30, 2 o'clock, and I get a, get a shave in, and then have a, a cuppa, and then after that, I uh, get my face a little wet here. I uh, get going to work shortly after, and I'm usually, my co-workers can do for this, <laughs> an hour early to work to peruse my assignment. And I just do that because I've been doing that for the past 10 years, you know. You become a pretty much a person of habit and all. And why change sometimes? Somebody told me to change, I guess I will. And But, you know what? I mean, if they tell me you can't come in an hour early. Well, okay, I guess I won't. But um, it'll take me off my game a little bit. I'll tell you that much. You know that much? So what I have here today, guys, um, is a shave at shave and this is uh I, I like my shave ads i can tell you one thing i'll show you once i get once i get it all uh, lathered up here i like my shave ads and they're a no nonsense shave i mean you get the blade you get it in there's no stropping there's no sharpening obviously and you get a great shave the blades are usually laser sharp there's minimal margin of error i mean you make an error with a shave at it you are really gonna probably pay for it and hopefully it's nothing too bad so what i'm using today is paladin shave brush it's a turquoise with very fine tips and uh sterling deep blue sea one shave soap as i already told you before in previous episodes i need to get more shave soaps i usually used to have like like seven on hand. And then got to the point where I just didn't, I know I like the slickness of Sterling that I just got to them. And I guess you can see I'm frugal at this point. I uh, recently got divorced and I moved out of my house and excuse me. And now my expenses are about 600 extra dollars a month. I mean, so I've been trying to kind of cut some things and appreciate what I have. Appreciate what I have in life and just in general and possessions. People I have around me, my children, my family. So there's, I think that may be good. See that sheen? So for all new people out there into the, the straight razors, very thin layer. You just wanna coat the skin and when I say coat the skin, that means pretty much coat it where you can, you can, uh, you know, get a good shave or it's not gonna drag. Okay, well, let me show you the, my hands dried off the, the razor here. It's the first shave that I ever bought, and this was about a year ago. It's, uh, let me just turn it around. It's the Kai Captain. Nice shave at, I love it. Kai Captain, and it has a Kai Guard in it. Get it wet here. Let's get going. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice razor. You got these two, um, it's like a, maybe like a five eighths or so, like the, you know, the, the face of it. Angle's a little different. Nice shaver though. Very smooth, see that? I um, I use Schick Pro Lines as well, and they're actually better for like longer day growth. And I might put the Schick in here next time, just because it's a, a very smooth blade, I, I like it. This one's nice, this is like use number four on it. See, when you go under the throat, I go in and I kind of like scoop a little bit right here. Watch. Right here. Scoop. Scoop. Just be careful. Nice. So I'm gonna go to my left side now. And I always switch hands. I mentioned that last shave. Switch hands, guys, get used to it. Um, you learn that muscle memory. It, it is the best gift you can have when you're learn, learn how to straight razor shave is to switch hands. Because otherwise, check this out. I'd have to do this. The right hand, left side, I'd have to do. And I've seen people do that before. And it's just like, it, it doesn't work. It's awkward. Yep. It sure is. I tried it. Right when I first started shaving, I, uh, I tried it. It didn't work. So, left side. Here we go, guys. Let's get going. And do you see what I'm doing over there? I'm lifting up my skin to get underneath the jawline. Never rush, you guys. I mean, I always give myself ample time. That's why I wake up a little earlier. I give myself time to use a straight razor and I can just enjoy myself, I'm not rushing to get a shave in. And just a nape shave. I do that with like a, a mirror. I look and I do like kind of reverse. I just did that before I got my shower. Just touching up the sides of my neck that I missed with my car. I use a car charge for that. I mean.
Okay, so let me do this, the mustache area. Nice shave so far. Real out of here. So, when I um, do the mustache, you guys, anytime you will get a cut with a straight razor is when you're going in and you're putting it on your skin. It usually doesn't happen when you're doing your shave. It's that first touch of the skin. So you got, when I do my mustache, I'm going to go in and I'm going to put it up and I'm going to scoop in and I'm going to be very careful. I'm always worried about when I'm putting it on my face, the pressure I apply to my first stroke. Here we go. Here we go. Clean right there. Switch hands. Just hit this right side of my face, yeah. Pop the cheek out. Straight razor shave and you make the oddest faces. Pop the cheek out, you get that even plane. So if I go up like this and I do, I go, get taut and I go down, I'm going to cut myself. But you have a higher chance. So puff it out. You see that? Straight down, even plane. Let me do above my goat here. Jeez. Now I'm just going to do one pass. If I do more, I mean, just cause irritation. So I may just do like a little kind of like touch ups in the area. Like maybe I'll just do it right here. Yeah, I'm pretty close. DFS, DFS, I mean, that's acceptable. I mean, heck, even a, an SAS, socially acceptable shave, good enough. Think about the commoner, the, the common person, they're out there using electric razors and they're, I mean, cartridge razors. I was talking to a gentleman at, at an antique store one day and he had uh, mutton chops and he was looking at stuff. He, he must have owned the booth and I, I, I was walking by him, just walking by and I stopped, I, I looked back and I said, you know what? I'm mean, going to give you a compliment. I said, those mutton chops look pretty good on you. And I started talking to him. He was probably in his late 60s. He was a Civil War. Um, he, he enjoyed the Victorian era. And I told him I use a straight razor. And I explained what I do. I said, you know what? If you got into straight razor shaving, it's not that bad. It just takes a little bit of, you know to get there a little bit of guts because i didn't want to do it originally it took me many years to get into it i said you'd go to tidy up your lines better and he said oh no he would never do it so he never nice guy i asked him if he had any straight razors he didn't I asked him if he had any sharpening stones he didn't but um but 
with a straight razor, you can get, like, you can tidy up those lines pretty good. And that's what's good about it. Plus, you get the best shave. It's a barber shave. Well, guys, excuse me there. Appreciate you stopping by for another episode. Uh, appreciate the support. Like, subscribe, and share, and get the word out about the cutthroat journey. Take it easy.